In this video, I will explain probability spaces. A probability space is also called a probability triple, because such a space consists of three elements. The so-called sample space omega, which is an arbitrary non-empty set. It is the set of all possible outcomes of a random process or experiment. The second element is the so-called event space F, which is a sigma algebra. An event is a set of outcomes in the sample space. I will show you the proper definition of a sigma algebra in the next video. The last element is a so-called probability measure P. The measure P assigns each event in the event space F a probability, which is a number between 0 and 1. I will show you the proper definition of a probability measure in a future video. Ok, let me sum up. A probability space is a non-empty set omega together with the sigma algebra F, which consists of the events, and a probability measure P, which assigns each event in the event space a probability. Let's take a look at an easy example of a probability space. Let's say the experiment consists of just one flip of a fair coin. Then the outcome is either heads or tails. So the sample space omega, which is the set of all possible outcomes, looks like that. Our event space contains four events. Heads, tails, neither heads nor tails and either heads or tails. That means the event space looks like that. It's the power set of omega which is always a sigma algebra, by the way. The last element we need is a probability measure P. It assigns each event in the event space F a probability. There is a 50% chance of tossing heads and a 50% for tails. So the probability measure looks like that. The probability that nothing happens is equal to zero. The probability for tossing heads is equal to one half. The probability for tossing tails is equal to one half. The probability that something happens, so either heads or tails, is equal to one. Now the sample space omega together with the event space F and the probability measure P is a probability space. In the next video I will start defining probability spaces properly. We will take a little closer look at the second element of a probability space, the sigma algebra F, which contains the measurable events. So the next video will be about sigma algebras. If you liked this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. That would help and motivate me to keep creating videos.